Hello science fans, today we're exploring the unsung hero of every ship, the rudder. Hidden beneath the waves at the ship's stern, the rudder is a simple fin that steers the vessel. The engine provides the power, but the rudder decides where you go, turning the captain's commands into movement. Without it, ships would drift aimlessly, unable to navigate tight channels or dock safely. From tiny sailboats to massive tankers, every vessel relies on this device for control. It's a small part, with a massive impact, connecting human intent to the vastness of the sea. Let's dive into the science behind how this simple fin guides giants across the oceans. How does a small fin at the back of a ship control the direction of a vessel that can weigh tens of thousands of tons? It might seem almost magical that such a relatively tiny part can have such a dramatic effect, but the answer lies in the fascinating world of fluid dynamics and the clever use of water flow. When a ship is moving forward, the water flows past the hull and the rudder, creating a powerful stream. The rudder acts like an underwater wing, and its position determines how the water is redirected. When the rudder is straight, water flows evenly on both sides, and the ship continues on its current path, moving straight ahead with minimal resistance. But as soon as the rudder is turned, it disrupts this balance. The water is forced to change direction, creating higher pressure on one side of the rudder and lower pressure on the other. This difference in pressure is what actually causes the ship to turn. The pressure pushes the stern of the ship in the opposite direction of the rudder's turn, causing the bow to swing around and the entire vessel to change course. It's a bit like pushing the back of a shopping cart to make the front turn. Even a small angle on the rudder can generate enormous forces, enough to move a ship that's longer than a football field. But if the rudder is turned too far, the water flow can break away from its surface, causing turbulence and reducing the rudder's effectiveness. It's a delicate balance. Smooth, attached flow means precise steering, while too much turbulence can make the ship sluggish or even unresponsive to the helm. Contrary to what some might think, the rudder doesn't pull the ship around. Instead, it pushes the stern sideways, and the rest of the ship follows, pivoting gracefully through the water. This simple yet powerful principle allows captains to maneuver enormous vessels with surprising precision, whether they're navigating tight harbors or making wide turns at sea. Every time a ship changes course, it's a demonstration of physics in action, fluid dynamics, pressure, and the art of steering, all working together to guide these giants of the sea. When it comes to steering a massive ship, speed isn't just about getting from point A to point B faster, it's absolutely crucial for making the rudder work effectively. The relationship between speed and control is at the heart of how ships maneuver, especially in challenging conditions. The faster water flows over the rudder, the more force it can generate, just like when you stick your hand out of a moving car window. At higher speeds, you feel the wind push hard against your palm, making it easy to change direction with just a tilt. The same principle applies to ships. More flow means more control. At high speeds, even the smallest rudder movements can swing the ship's bow dramatically. But as the ship slows down, the rudder loses its bite, and steering becomes sluggish and unresponsive. This is why captains must always be aware of their speed when maneuvering. That's where the propeller comes in. It's not just for moving the ship forward. The propeller creates a powerful jet of water, known as prop wash, that flows directly over the rudder. This flow gives the rudder something to work with, even when the ship itself is barely moving. By combining short bursts of engine power with precise rudder angles, skilled captains can pivot enormous ships in the tightest of harbors. This technique is especially important when docking or navigating through crowded ports, where space is limited and accuracy is everything. The teamwork between the propeller and rudder is essential for these delicate maneuvers. Without this coordination, docking a ship would be a risky and nearly impossible task, especially in strong currents or windy conditions. Without the extra flow from the propeller, controlling a ship at low speed would be nearly impossible. The rudder alone simply can't generate enough force to steer effectively when the ship is creeping along. In the end, it's all about harnessing the power of flow, using water movement to achieve precision control. Whether at sea or in port, understanding and managing flow is what allows these giants of the ocean to move with grace and accuracy. Steering started with a simple oar on the side of ancient boats, hence, starboard. As ships grew, the stern-mounted rudder was invented in medieval Europe, offering better control and protection. The tiller gave way to the ship's wheel, making steering easier and more precise. 
Over time, ropes and pulleys evolved into hydraulic and electric systems. Today, a captain's tiny joystick can move a massive rudder with ease. Despite all the tech, the basic idea remains. Use a submerged fin to direct water and steer. It's a story of centuries of innovation, all focused on mastering the sea. From oar to joystick, the rudder's principle endures. Not all rudders are created equal. Each type of rudder has its own unique design and purpose, tailored to meet the specific needs of different vessels and their operating environments. The flat rudder is the classic design, simple, strong, but not the most efficient. It's often found on older ships and smaller vessels where simplicity and durability are key. Aerofoil rudders, shaped like airplane wings, use water flow to generate more turning force with less effort. This design is highly efficient, making it ideal for modern ships that require better maneuverability and fuel efficiency. For tight maneuvering, there's the shilling or fishtail rudder, which directs propeller wash for sharp turns. This type is particularly useful for tugboats and other vessels that need to perform precise movements in confined spaces. The flap rudder, with a hinge trailing edge, multiplies turning power, perfect for docking giant ships. This design allows for greater control and precision, especially in challenging docking scenarios. Each type is tailored for a specific job, open ocean, crowded harbors, or agile tugboats. The right rudder can significantly enhance a ship's performance and safety. Engineers keep refining designs for more control and efficiency. They use advanced materials and cutting-edge technology to create rudders that can withstand harsh marine conditions while providing optimal performance. The right rudder can make a ship dance or hold a steady course through storms. It's a critical component that can mean the difference between a smooth voyage and a challenging one. It's all about matching the tool to the task. The choice of rudder can greatly influence a ship's handling characteristics and overall performance. Rudder design is where science meets real-world need. It's a fascinating blend of engineering, physics, and practical application, ensuring that each vessel can navigate the seas safely and efficiently. The rudder is a masterpiece of simple physics, create a pressure imbalance, and you steer a ship. Its partnership with the propeller and the captain's skill keeps vessels safe and on course. Even with GPS and thrusters, the rudder does the heavy lifting for most ships. It's reliable, powerful, and rooted in centuries of innovation. Next time you see a ship glide by, remember the hidden fin guiding its journey. The rudder is the silent hero of the seas, proof of human ingenuity and our command of the waves. And that's the science behind every ship's journey.